Hey guys, today we're just going to show you the installation of our dart and liners into the N20 block. You would have probably seen our recent video that we did showing that installed on one already. If you haven't, go and watch that. It's worth a watch before you watch this one. We're going to demonstrate how the installation happens on a second one of these. This is actually going to be Harry's engine that we're doing today. So um, yeah, stick around. We're going to grab, there's not much here at the moment. We're going to grab the block out of our spinner that's been heating it up to about 80 degrees Celsius. And we've got another set of these liners that have been sitting in the freezer overnight. So we've got a bit of shrinkage and expansion work happening there to assist with the installation of these. And we'll bring that to you in a moment. Ah, you bitch. Which is the front end, Tony? Cylinder one. So we've got to act fairly quickly here because the block is starting to cool down and these liners are starting to heat up and they're starting to build up a bit of condensation on them so we've already pre-lubed the o-rings with some rubber grease and I'm just drawing the inserts where the liners will slide in so we have a nice clean contact between the o-rings and the material. I'm just going to apply a bit more rubber grease to the aluminium material in the block here. The main thing is that leading edge, we don't want any cuts on the o-rings, so if that leading edge is nice and slippery, it's going to help. Yeah, so on the top of the machine work here, we've got a very, you can't really see it, there's a, a subtle chamfer on the tops here, so that when the liner comes down, the o-ring has a nice angled attack to drive down in and not a hard or sharp edge that it could roll and cut on the o-ring. We're ready. Right, pass your liner. Yep, yep. So basically this is another uh, good installation like the other one was. Uh, we allow that interference at the top collar area here in the block. That's why we've got to drive it in. To, we want that, we want that uh, interference at the top so we don't get any movement possibility whatsoever. The actual seat contact with the block where the seal is, is at the bottom of the cylinder liner on this face here. And then we've got our three sealing rings stopping any coolant getting through to the oil wetted area. Uh, now that they're down, we'll finish bore the, uh, boring home the cylinders to the correct size for the pistons being used in this engine. And then the deck will be uh, machined down so that it's all, all nice and level. We have allowed a little about, about 0.2 of a millimetre protrusion on the liner so that they'll all clean up and we take minimum amount off the 
the aluminium off the deck. And I, can, I can't get sort of two and a half thou, a two and a half thousandths of an inch uh, feeler gauge between the liners. So I'm pretty confident they're all down evenly. That one's slight, I can get a little bit in there, but there's not hardly, oh, I can't get it in there. There's hardly anything in it really. Two and a half thousandths is a quite, a, quite a small amount. And I don't think these three are sitting up. I think this line is possibly just slightly shorter. So what we'll do next is we'll send this block away to get some machine work done. Uh, that'll include decking the block and then we'll give a piston to our machinist and we'll get that bored and honed for the correct clearance. And what we'll do in that process is we'll use an N55 torque plate, which we've slightly modified to fit the N20. This will just sit over the liners like this. And the idea of that will be once we torque this down, it'll really pull those liners down evenly for their final fitment. And then these can be bored and honed. That way it'll help lock the liners up in case there is any float there. There shouldn't be with our interference fit, but this will ensure that we've locked them down so we can do our machine work nice and cleanly. Then this will come off and we'll, we'll just skim the deck so yeah. that we have a nice flat surface. And then we're ready for assembly. We'll do our final wash and clean and assemble. Yeah. So there you go guys, it's a short video on the liners going in one of these blocks. We've got another one to do after this with the liners in the background here. And we'll get busy and put these guys together. So thanks for watching and again, if you need any engine work done or help with your BMW engines, feel free to email us or give us a call. Uh, we're always here to help, thank you.